What's up, Stack Collect? This is your boy H Stats back again with another unboxing and review. So, before we begin, those of you who are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This way, you'll know all about my up and coming content. So, it's been a long wait. What I got for you guys today is the Jean Grey BDS Art Scale 1 10th Scale by Iron Studios. So, with that said, let's get out the box. Let me show you what the art box looks like and we can start the unboxing and review. One. So here's the uh, art box. Just give you a little side view. Let's see what the back looks like. And then, of course, we have another picture of Jean Grey on the base. And then we also have some side artwork on the other side of the box. All right, guys. So I already have the styrofoam box cut for you guys. Let's take her out. Let's see what she looks like. First, let's start with the base. All right, let's see what we're working here. Seeing this in person looks real better because um, they don't give the picture doesn't justify this. I mean, this translucent whole like fire uh, effect or mutant power effect is amazing. And then if you look closely, you have a piece of the door, got the lion. I mean, these pieces are really details, uh, details, detail people. Um, then you have some broken wreckage. Let's look at the base. Of course, you guys know they don't come numbered. Jean Grey, one tenth. Um, this is really a beautiful piece. I really love this base. Okay, so let's see um, what the body looks like. And then I'll just assemble her on the base because this is an easy one. So not that bad. I mean, let's see how the colors pop. I like the whole uh, retro 90s look. This is really cool. There's no real weathering on the boots, but the outfit is pretty cool. Then you got the nice uh, X symbol. Okay, so I guess there's a peg right here on her left leg. And let's see, there's a hole. I just saw it. Uh, maybe if I turn this around. Okay, I just saw the hole. <laughs> yeah, there it is right there. You see with that whole clearness, you, it's, you'll probably miss it. And then you just insert that peg right in here. Cool. And it's pretty stable. All right. And that's uh, arm. It's pretty detailed. Pretty cool. All right. Let's see. This arm looks like it goes here okay and then let's look at the right arm same effect paint job is pretty cool like the uh, light blue hand open wide cool goes right in here just like that whole cross effect now let's look at the headpiece And she has the whole uh, clear eyed, which makes her look very, very serious and badass. And the hair, oh man, look, look at the, um, the details on the hair. Wow. For these small scales, I mean, Iron Studios is really killing it. Awesome. All right. So we'll just place the head on the body. Cool. There we have her. All right, so let's put her on the turntable and let's see what she looks like. All right, right guys, so here she is, Jean Grey, the one temp scale uh, by um, Iron Studios. So let me give you guys a quick turnaround. Um, I think they did a really amazing job um, with this piece. I mean, you have to see this in person. Um, the whole like uh, fiery, translucent effect, the color just pops. It looks like the wreckage is just floating in um, mid air. Um, and you know what's funny, guys? This is my second, second female scope in my collection. So I'm really glad that she's here. Um, normally, I will give you guys uh, a background story. But with Jean Grey, there's a whole history. But I, what I will tell you guys is that she first appeared in the X-Men in 1963 of September. And her powers are telekinesis and telepathy. 
um, she's also became the uh, the Dark Phoenix, which is very, very interesting. Um, I don't think I have enough time to explain that whole phenomenal uh, story background, but when you get a chance, I highly suggest you go back and you do some homework on this particular character. I mean, she's very, very important. Very, one of the, I mean, she takes it to a whole nother level in the comic books. Overall, I really love what Iron Studios are doing with these one-tenth scale. <sighs> as much as I would love to give you guys a review on the blob, I don't know when it's coming. It's stuck on some uh, cargo ship somewhere, <laughs> you know, and it's just disappointing that I have to wait so long. But if you guys um, like my review, make sure you guys leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. And make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it because it helps the channel. And those of you, again, who are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This way you'll know all about my up and coming content. So as you can see from my last review, um, I'm really glad that she's here. She came in the nick of time. And um, I'm really happy to have her. Um, if you've been following my channel, I've been saying from like since day one that this, this is going to be the uh, the mother. And it is, I think, in my opinion, the mother of uh, uh, dioramas. Uh, Sentinel 3, <laughs> it never fails. That got delayed again on me. So um, I think now it's scheduled to ship uh, maybe the end of December to like January of 2022. But either way, once I get it, I will be doing a review on that. And I'll show you guys my whole display on that one. So, I mean, with that said, guys, um, thanks for watching my channel. So, with that said, guys, keep your stats up. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Play the beat for my homegirl, Jean Grey. One. Thanks for watching guys, but don't go anywhere. Make sure to check out my review on Iron Studios 1 Temp Scale Deadpool. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Peace.